So this is the OnePlus 8T in an official teaser revealing all the main design changes and they are huge. So yes, we are indeed getting a new design. We saw this vertical camera module back with 6, 10, 60, 7, 7 Pro, 7T Pro and the 70 was a break which was great looking. But then we're back on track with same old finish in the 8 and 8 Pro. So a design change was necessary. The 8T is coming with a new back design. Yes, it do looks like Galaxy S20 Plus or a Realme smartphone. But it's something new from the brand side. I mean, it's at least better than the same old design they've been using from last few years. So they are launching it in two color options that's aquamarine green and lunar silver. It's matte finish texture which looks nice. Now focusing on cameras cause there are some huge huge changes in there. So there's a watermark on camera which says 48 megapixel OIS. This is an IMX586 sensor takes some really nice shots. It's simply not as good as IMX689 in terms of low light shots or indoor images. The rest are wide angle macro and depth. Exciting part is OnePlus is also adding a new sensor in there. This could be a white balance or color sensor. This could be a flash with different temperature. I think it is warmer cause I can't see any flash linings in there. So it is I think a new supporting sensor. We saw a camera sample taken from the 8T and this looks like something taken from Google Pixel. I mean this is a night shot and it looks so good. So they have definitely done some changes in the software and the additional sensor is likely doing some magic. Here's a new shot from main camera and one from wide angle camera of the 8T. The front design is flat with minimal bezels, the punch hole is on the top left corner and overall I like this design. I for sure miss the curved edges but flat is also fine. Some main specifications are 865 flagship CPU, they are not using 865 plus which is quite weird. This one gets 8 slash 12 gigs of RAM and 128 slash 256 gigs of internal storage. There is 120Hz AMOLED display and 65W of super fast charging with 4500mAh huge battery. The pricing is expected to be 599 euros and 699 euros which is shockingly cheaper than the OnePlus 8 and if that's true it's gonna be an amazing phone for sure. It do skip IP68 and wireless charging. The IP rating is I know must in flagship devices but no wireless charging is super fine for most. They'll be also launching new wireless Z base with more advanced features and we're also getting new cheaper IP55 rated Buds Z. So yeah, this is all guys. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.